right, welcome to the second review of the evening. Uh, this time is Scamper. Play as, play as a squirrel in an open world game where you experience a peaceful yet surreal environment. Um, Scamper is an open world game set in a quaint rural hamlet invented by aliens to replicate life on Earth as remembered by a goldfish. Okay. The goldfish may have misremembered some facts about how the earth works. And whales fly through the air and acorns turn into miniature giraffes. And all that would be fine except that the goldfish is lost and needs to be set free while you activate the animals by throwing acorns at them. Luckily, you are a squirrel, so this is just the job for you. Okay, then. Right, so Scamper was assigned to Petty Fan for review, so over to him for Dear the Petunia. details. Oh god, where the hell do we begin with this we one, lads? Uh, this game, we it to looks like it's using a fair amount of Matilda purchased eliminate. assets, I hope. Unfortunately. Matilda got lost. And it's, been a very it's, long time since you were it's an odd here. one. But we need you to activate there all is no, like, there's not a lot of an objective. And make sure everything it's, works. you're kind of just, then you can call you're given this little spiel at the beginning. Where you belong. Best and then you're just kind of free to go soon. about things. The aliens. And they it says you play as a squirrel, but there is no third person view. And I'm guessing you're playing as a flying squirrel because you can kind of like glide ish. You have a glide button, you have a run button. Good luck. Uh, and then. It's really weird. Sometimes the acorns work. Sometimes they don't. Like, I think I can hit this one. And then, yeah, it breaks apart. And then... Now my acorns... Turn into giraffes. For... Denim, those are some big fucking acorns. Uh, you are... You are... A... A squirrel, so I guess it would look bigger to you? Question mark? Those are some big fucking acorns compared to the things that they're sitting next to. Valid. Like, one was next to a wagon wheel, and it was about two-thirds the size of the wagon wheel. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's the max um, size of, like, max amount of acorns you can hold. Also, yeah, because I hit that pig with an acorn, and all the pigs are meandering about now. So yeah, that makes logical sense. Um, and yeah, you just kind of meander about. Um, the game looks okay. It is a... I believe it is an Unreal Engine game. And then... Uh, there are... A, it's a shame that no one could seem to afford real engines for their game. <sighs> anyway. There are some, like, I guess, objectives you can do. So, let's see, 6, 12, 18 objectives. And then I I honestly got bored with this after, you know, a few minutes and didn't even, like, finish it. Because I guess people are more like, this is a, like, zen thing, and that's just not my style. But yeah, you can do squirrel things like run up trees. Uh, you don't take fall damage because, again, I'm pretty sure you're like some sort of flying squirrel 
who just kind of floats down. Also, randomly, there are fish that are, you know, swimming through the air. It's fine. Uh, you can save at giant golden acorns. And... Back. Um... And then, yeah, you can just, like, throw acorns and then suddenly random giraffe spawns. Um, if you get far enough away, it'll just despawn, like, you know, your typical 3D objects would. Um, yeah. Uh, there's music in the game. Uh, and, <laughs> yeah, that's really all I got. The game's just alright if you're into something zen, I guess, but, like, it's very odd. Do you guys have any questions or comments, or? Not really. Yeah, I think I'm good. What are you looking for price-wise, Adam? Or looking at, rather. Three ninety-nine. So four I, bucks. I mean, it's not the worst price I've ever seen for something like this. I was expecting, you know, ten bucks. For three ninety-nine. I guess if you want a more zen experience, it's not the worst thing you can do for three ninety-nine. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I guess that's kind of where I lay on this. It's not my cup of tea. Somebody might like it more than me, though. Uh, and I guess that's it for me. Okay, then. Um, right. So that'll about do it for Scamper here. Be sure to tune in after the break as Daleks will be reviewing Half Past Fate Romantic Distancing.